Today, we're spotlighting the San Marcos River. Beloved by generations of Texans and Texas State students, the San Marcos River gets its start at Spring Lake, one of the longest continuously inhabited sites in all of North America. Spring Lake gets its name from the many hundreds of artesian springs that supply it with clear, flowing 72 degree water year round. These springs rise up from underground aquifers, specifically the Edwards Aquifer, home to several endangered species, including the Texas blind salamander. Texas wild rice, an endangered species of aquatic plant, can be found only in the first two miles of the upper San Marcos River. These endangered species, as well as many other native species, are at risk as the human population surrounding the river continues to expand, adding more pavement and impermeable surfaces, pumping more groundwater, and dumping more trash into the river and the area around it. Thankfully, there are a ton of ways for you to help protect the San Marcos River, whether it's by learning more on a glass bottom boat tour at the Meadows Center for Water and the Environment, doing community science and testing water quality with Texas Stream Team, or helping to restore and advocate for the river with San Marcos River Foundation. If you're feeling inspired to get your hands dirty, the eyes of the San Marcos River may be the group for you. Give them a follow, then join them at the river for a cleanup. Share your San Marcos River stories in the comments below or by using the hashtag SpringForWater.